Ansible Vault is a really important concept when you want to encrypt the data which you don't want to show in a plain text format while working with your Ansible playbook. Since we are talking about the Ansible Vault, then we should know the basic command on how to operate on Ansible Vault. So the first command which we will take a look is Ansible Vault Create, which will help you to create an Ansible Vault from the scratch. Second, once you create an Ansible Vault, then how you are just going to edit the content present inside the Ansible Vault. So the second command which we are going to take a look is the Ansible Vault Edit. And the third one is the Ansible Vault view which can help you to view the content in a read only mode present inside your ansible vault apart from ansible vault basic command the second thing we are going to take a look like how to use your ansible vault when you are executing your ansible playbook and there are three ways you can use your ansible vault the first way to use your ansible vault while executing or while running your ansible playbook is to supply the parameter ask vault pass so when you supply this parameter along with your Ansible playbook command, then you need to key in or you need to enter your uh, vault password. And once you supply your vault password, then you will be able to fetch your secrets from your Ansible vault, which are stored inside your encrypted YML file. The second way of using the Ansible vault is to store the password inside a vault password file so that you don't need to key in or you don't need to enter the password from the command line. You can simply store your password for your vault inside a plain text file and then you can supply that file uh, while you're executing your ansible playbook and the third way of using the ansible vault is to export the path of your ansible vault password file into the environment variable and the benefit you will get from that is you don't need to enter the password of your ansible vault and also you don't need to supply the path of your ansible vault password file while you're executing the ansible playbook you can just simply run your ansible playbook let's switch to my code editor and the first thing we'll start is by creating our ansible vault so this is my code editor and this is the part 14 and this whole project is available onto my github repository so i'll post the link of my github repository into the description section so feel free to clone this particular code repository for your own use let's start with the walkthrough of my ansible vault project so here this is the part 14 ansible vault which i have already created and inside that project you will find a readme file which i have already opened over here so here i have written down all the commands which i'm just going to use inside this particular demo so the first thing which we are going to do is we are just going to create an ansible vault and for that the command is ansible vault create and then after that you need to supply the path so here i will be creating my ansible vault yml inside the groups var directory and the name of my vault yml is my vault dot yml i'll copy the command from here to create my ansible vault so i'll copy the command i'll go to terminal and i'll just paste the command over here just hit enter and as soon as you hit the enter then it will ask you to set a password for your ansible vault so here i'm just going to set a password and it is again going to confirm the same password which you have entered so i'm just going to re uh, enter my password and here you can see our ansible vault has been created and now it has opened my ansible vault yml which is my vault.yml so here this is open uh, into the edit mode and you can use the vi command to enter your uh, like a secret inside your ansible vault so here i'm just going to press i from the keyword so that i can go into the insert mode and the first thing which i'm just going to create is like a my uh, vault or maybe i can type in like my secret and then i can enter uh, this is the first secret from ansible vault so this is the uh, secret text which i'm keying in inside my ansible vault and once you have entered your secret then what you can do you can press the escape from your keyboard and then save and quit which is w and q and then hit enter so by this way you are just going to create your first ansible vault inside your ansible project and if you go back to your project structure over here then in the group parts you will find a file that is my underscore vault.yml which has been created and if you double click on it then you can see this whole content inside that particular file is encrypted and you cannot view the 
content which we have written, which we have written a simple message inside my Ansible vault. Since we have created our first Ansible vault, then second command which I would like to run is to view the content of my Ansible vault. So again, go to this readme file and here I have written the view command to view the content of your Ansible vault. And remember, this is going to be a read only mode. You cannot edit anything inside your Ansible vault. And the command for that is Ansible vault. Uh, after that, you need to supply the keyword view to view the content. And then after that, you need to supply the path of that particular file, which you have just created. So I'm just going to copy this command from here. I'm just going to head over to terminal and I'm just going to paste the command and hit enter. And as soon as you hit the enter to view the content of your Ansible vault, then it is going to ask for the password which you have set when you were, when you were creating that Ansible vault. So I'm just going to supply the password and hit enter. And here you can see the message uh, or the secret message which we have written inside our Ansible vault. So the uh, message which we have uh, for that created is first of all, we have created a variable that is my underscore secret. And this is the secret message which we have key in inside my Ansible vault. Well, this is just a demo, but this Ansible vault can be used for securing your password which can be your database passwords also so here you can key in your strong password which is really sensitive and you can place those uh, sensitive information inside your ansible vault all right so now we have created an ansible vault and we have seen like how to view the content of my ansible vault the next thing which i'm just going to do is i'm just going to use that ansible vault or the password which we have or the secret text which we have created or inserted inside my ansible vault into my ansible playbook so here if you take a look carefully so this is the uh, variable uh, which is storing my sensitive information so i'm just going to use this variable to print the value or to debug that particular value inside my ansible playbook well this is just a demo where that's why i'm just i'm just using the debug but in case if you want to use this for particular let's say for example uh, creating a database connection and you want to print uh, or you want to use the database password then you can use a similar approach and just supply your variable where which is storing your database password so this is just an another example in the real time scenario how you're just going to use this uh, secret values but for the time being i'm just going to use this particular uh, variable from here i'm just going to copy it and into my roles there is a task and there is a main.yml so this is a, a, a very debug message which i just wanted to print and here i have created a variable that is var and here i'm just going to paste the name of my variable that is my secret now moving forward what i'll do i'll just run this ansible playbook using my ansible pod and for that you just need to open the readme file over here and in the second point i have written the ansible playbook command to execute my ansible playbook which will use your ansible vault and the command is pretty simple over here and I'll, i'm just going to explain the, that command also so this is the ansible playbook keyword after that you need to supply the ansible where you will be storing the host second you need to uh, supply the name of your ansible playbook so that is ansible vault playbook.yml which you can see over here this is my ansible playbook vault uh, yml after that you need to supply the path of your ansible vault yml using the e keyword okay so this is the path uh, where i'm storing my ansible vault yml which you can find over here also so that's the important thing and the third parameter which you need to supply over here is the ask vault password so that you can key in or you can enter the password so that that you can open that particular ansible vault and you can use the values or the secret value which you have stored so this is the ansible playbook command which i'm just going to execute from my, my terminal and then after that we're just going to see the value which is printed onto the console all right so just copy this command from here go to terminal i'm just going to clear the screen over here and paste the command and hit enter and this is the first way of running your ansible playbook with your ansible vault using the ask vault parameter so this is the parameter which i have just supplied with your with my ansible playbook command okay so i'm just going to key in my password and hit enter and here you can see this is the message uh, this is the value which i have printed onto my console and it, it is able to fetch the value this is a first uh, secret sorry there is a typo 
so this is the first secret message from my ansible vault so this is the text i have stored inside my ansible vault yml and now i am able to fetch that particular information onto my console using the debug provided by ansible so this is how i'm just going to use the secret value inside my ansible playbook all right so now you have seen the first demo where i have created an ansible vault and then i am able to run my ansible playbook using the ask vault pass parameter where I have key in and entered my Ansible Vault password. Okay, so before moving forward, let's take a few more examples of our Ansible Vault command. So I'm just going to clear the screen over here. And the second command which I would like to tell you is to change the password of our Ansible Vault. So what you need to do over here is you need to key in, first of all, Ansible Vault. After that, you need to type in the keyword that is rekey. And after that, you need to supply the path of your Ansible Vault YML, which is groups for and my vault.yml. And using this command, you can change the password of your Ansible Vault. And you need you just need to hit enter. So you need to key in your existing password. And you can set the new password over here. And you need to reconfirm the password. And once you use this command successfully, then you will be able to change the password of your Ansible Vault YML. So this is a useful command when you want to change the password uh, from the security reasons. All right, so till now we have seen like how you can key in your Ansible Vault password to execute your Ansible playbook and to use your Ansible Vault. In the second example, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to create an password file. And inside that password file, I'm just going to store my Ansible Vault password. And that password is not going to be a short password, but this is going to be my base64 randomly generated password. And these passwords are really long and really secure because it is randomly generated and those are base64 password. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to first of all going to create a base64 password file for my ansible vault so here inside my project there is a directory called pass underscore file where i'm just going to create a password file right now this particular uh, directory is empty and if you take a look onto the readme file how to generate this particular password file then this is the third point and here i have written the command which is open ssl rnd for random and i just want a base 64 and 2048 bit and I'm just going to create my password file with the name Ansible Vault. And I'm just going to end it with the extension dot pass for password. And it is going to be created inside the directory pass underscore file. So I'm just going to copy this command from here. I'm just going to head over to my terminal and I'm just going to paste the command and hit enter. And it, it will just uh, complete very silently. But what you need to do, you just need to go over here. And here you can see this vault file has vault password file has been created. And if you double click on it, then you can see this is a B64 randomly generated uh, password, which we are going, which we will be using uh, to open or to edit our Ansible vault. Okay, so now we have generated our password file. Now what I need to do is I need to create a one more vault using that particular password file. So this is the command which I'm just going to use. And this command is again same ansible vault create. And I'm just going to create a new YML for my ansible vault using the name my vault with b64 pass YML. And I'm just going to supply the password file over here because I'm not keying in the password manually or by from my keyboard. I just want to use my existing uh, password file which I have just generated. So here I will just supply the path of that particular password file uh, to my this Ansible vault. And as you can see in the groups bar, uh, there is only one my underscore vault.yml and that vault.yml is uh, like uh, I have entered the password manually from the keyboard. But here uh, in the next YML, I'm, I will be using my password file which I have just created. So I'm just going to copy this particular command. I'm just going to head over to terminal. I'm just going to clear it and I'm just going to paste it and hit enter. And as you can see, uh, now I'm into the edit mode and here I can create my secret. So I'm just going to go in, uh, press I from here and I'm just going to type in my secret. So let's say my uh, secret uh, uh, from these 64 pass file so this is the variable and i'm just gonna key in my text message uh, text message uh, from base 64 
64 I'm just gonna type in base 64 volt and this is just a randomly text message I'm just gonna key in and after that save and quit so now what we have done we have created a password file and using that password file we have created an ansible vault so next thing what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna use that particular debug message inside my ansible playbook to print the value of that particular variable which i have just created using the ansible vault so here is a readme file and i'm just gonna run my ansible playbook but this time i'm just not gonna enter my password manually but i'm just gonna use my password file to run my ansible playbook so this is the playbook command which is ansible playbook uh, keyword after that you need to supply the flag inventory and supply the host file where you are storing the host information the name of your playbook which is ansible vault yml and after that you need to supply uh, the vault file path which is this one which is a new one which i have just created and after that you need to supply the password file over here and you should provide the correct path of your password file okay so i'm just going to copy this command from here go to my terminal and i'm just going to paste it over here and hit enter and here you can see this is the uh, message which i printed onto my console using the debug and this is the text message which we have just keying in into our new ansible vault and remember uh, i have not entered my ansible vault password manually but instead i have just supplied my password file as a parameter so this is the another way to uh, like store your password and uh, into the password file and that password file is pretty strong because that is a b64 randomly generated password string the third one which we are going to take a look is to export the path of your password file so you have already generated a password file but what you are going to do you're just going to export the path into the environment variable and here into the readme file you will find the environment variable name that is ansible vault password file so that's the particular uh, variable name you need to keep in and export into the environment variable and once you export into the environment variable then you don't need to even supply the path of your password file you just simply run your ansible playbook and ansible playbook will resolve that environment variable which is this one and it will find the path of the password file and it will use that password file to supply that password to our ansible playbook so which is a more neater approach uh, while handling your ansible playbook and ansible vault so the, in this readme file you will find a command to export your ansible uh, password file path and here remember this is the keyword which you need to keep uh, keep the same name which is ansible vault password file because that is an environment variable and after that this is the particular path from here uh, till your password file uh, which you can see over here so this is the complete password file path uh, so this path will change based on your local workspace setup so this is my current um, workspace and this is the current path for my uh, for my local uh, development setup but just change this path according to your password file path so i'm just going to copy this command from here and head over to my terminal and i'm just going to clear the screen and i'm just going to paste the command over here and we can also confirm by running the echo dollar and the variable name command so that we have exported that particular variable successfully or not so here you can see the uh, environment variable has been exported successfully the next thing which i'm just going to do i'm just going to run my ansible playbook and this time i'm just not going to supply any manual password using the ask vault password parameter or neither i'm just going to supply the password file path i'm just going to simply run my ansible playbook so I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to paste the command over here. And if you take a look onto the command, so this is the command uh, here. I have supplied the inventory after that. This is the Ansible playbook command. And after that, the vault file uh, YML, which I'm just going to use it. And after that, I have not specified the ask vault password parameter for manually entering the password. And neither I have specified my password file path so i'm just going to simply supply my vault so that it can understand which vault i want to use and after that i'm just going to hit enter and here you can see our ansible playbook has started and here you can see this is the message it has fetched from our ansible vault so this is another way uh, to run your ansible playbook and to export the path of your password file into the environment variable 
So this was a very small demonstration on how to use your Ansible Vault inside your Ansible playbook. And you can use either of the three ways which I have mentioned into this lab session. Uh, I'll put down the GitHub repository link into the description section along with the readme file. And sometimes I also create a blog post on the similar lab session. So if you don't find these readme file inside the GitHub repository, then I'll also put the blog post link of my blog where I will mention all the commands which I have used for creating creating the Ansible pod. If you have any question or feedback, then please put down into the comment section. Those are really appreciated. And do follow this channel for the similar content on DevOps. And uh, uh, there are many sessions I have also planned in future. So see you into the next session of our DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.